Hey, what's going on YouTube? Today we're going to be looking at another classic by Adidas. These are the Adidas Gazelle shoes in the black and white colorway. These shoes are part of the Originals collection and they retail for $80 on Adidas' website. Let's get them open. So here they are right off the bat. We can see that they come with an extra pair of laces, which is always a plus. Moving on to the materials, the upper is actually not made of suede. It used to be in previous iterations and now it's made out of a nubuck, which feels very velvety and soft yet sturdy. The nubuck is similar to the suede, but it's supposed to be more durable. The upper also includes synthetic overlays and of course we have a rubber outsole. Onto the features, at the front we have the T-shaped toe cap. Moving up, the tongue is made out of a very lightweight foam material that has the Adidas logo debossed onto it. At the heel, we have the trefoil logo on a white tab that has some shine to it. At the side, we have the iconic three stripes along with the gold gazelle lettering. We have a very interesting texture pattern on the side of the rubber. At the bottom of the shoe, we have a hexagonal pattern that covers the entirety of the shoe. Lastly, the shoe features a glued down insole that can be removed pretty easily. The insole has some extra arch support and is made out of a foam material. So there you have it, the Adidas Gazelle shoes. The history of these is actually extremely varied because of the constant iterations, upgrades, and redesigns of the shoe. This shoe itself is actually a reissue of the 1991 version of the Gazelle according to the Adidas website. One thing that I can say about the shoe's history is that it laid the blueprint for other models after it. The white contrasting stripes, T-shaped toe cap, and the overall silhouette of the shoe was very influential in the design of other shoes. Anyways, that's all you need to know about these shoes. Let's get these on feet. On feet, these shoes are true to size and are pretty comfortable. My only issue is that the art support was a bit irritating for me, but it's probably because my foot is a little bit flatter than most. But overall, it wasn't bad. The styling and silhouette of the shoe is just timeless and extremely versatile as it goes with pretty much everything. Very sleek looking shoes. They look good with white laces, but I prefer the black laces, but either way, I would definitely recommend these. So that's pretty much going to be it for the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.